Hey, what's going on all you ghouls and ghosts out there? My name is Mike Macabra, and welcome to the graveyard. As always, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos, Friday Night Frights, mouthing off with Mike Macabra, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But on tonight's episode, we have another reviews and reactions. And coming back to the channel is SRV Stevie Ray Vaughn. Yes, indeed. Uh, we reacted to Voodoo Child uh, cover by SRV, and that video was doing really well. I appreciate all the kind comments, even though I got some negative ones. That's okay. Everyone's entitled to their own opinions, but uh, I do digress. We're going to be reacting to... Riviera Paradise Live. Link to that original video will be down in the description box for your feeling pleasure at your leisure. And this request comes to us by oh, we got three people. Let's see. We got Alicia King, Richard Kemp, and Pretty Pearls. They all wanted me to react to this live rendition of SRV's Riviera Paradise. As always, going into it blind with my off-the-cuff comments. If I recognize a song, I'll definitely let everybody know. I'm going to be as transparent as possible. If you would like to see any other reactions done on this channel, please look in the description box, and there is uh, just uh, information on how to do that. But no more ghouling around. Let's check it out. All right, ghouls and ghosts. TV Ravon and Double Trouble. Riviera Paradise Live, Austin, Texas. This one goes out to everybody who's still suffering in any way. Very mellow. Look to pick around. Thank you. 
Release wines, everybody. Release wines. I love the muted note sound. Sounds very syncopated. Like that. You're going to snap your string. Looks like his action was really high. Harmonics. That's cool. <laughs> All right, uh, that was quite interesting. I got to think a little bit. Uh, not too much. I don't know how long the review section is going to be, but um, I got a little bit to think about. See you there. All right, ghouls and ghosts. That was SRV with his live rendition of Riviera Paradise, live in Austin, Texas. Link to that original video will be down in the description box for evening pleasure at your leisure. And again, this request comes to us by 
Alicia King, Richard Kemp, and Pretty Pearls. Thank you all again for that lovely, lovely request. Let's start off with... This was very soothing to me. It put me, like, right to sleep. Like, I kept closing my eyes. I just wanted to feel the music, but it was a live show, so I couldn't do that. So you see me kind of go back and forth, like... Uh, I wanted to just rest my eyes and just vibe with it. It started off, I thought, pretty melancholy. Uh, obviously, a very subdued performance, but very powerful performance nonetheless. Showed a little bit of his improvisation, whether it be with the harmonics and uh, playing with the uh, pickups or playing uh, way above the neck where uh, uh, the, the, the strings lock. Uh, great use of the tremolo bar. I, I, like I said uh, during one of the, the part of the reaction, at certain angles with the guitar, it looked like his action was really high. I don't know if that was the case or not. Um, I, I know some play, people have the, the action like way up, gonna slice your fingers like there's no tomorrow. But I'm sure he, the way he plays, he's got calluses for days, so probably wouldn't phase him in any way, shape, or form. Now, I think why it was so calming the way he presented it because uh, when he first got up on stage and he said that this was dedicated to anyone feeling any kind of pain whatsoever. Uh, so, so here's a nice little soothing tune for your trouble. Uh, that, that was pretty meaningful, I thought. The... The keyboardist, I for, for my particular money, I think was... A, I wouldn't say better than Stevie Ray Vaughan, but I, I, I felt like it fit, or I, I gravitated towards that sound more than SRV. Um, well, I did enjoy everything that he did, especially with the... Um, the muted up and down strokes with his uh, fingers. He kind of it's a, more of a, like a blunt, muddy, muted sound. Um, it was a really nice change of pace. I really enjoyed it. Uh, but I just I, I like the the underscore to everything. I think to me that was probably the most calming parts of the song. Oh, and the little little. Uh, uh, the pick trick that he did kind of switching it up and down just kind of like it was so flawless for him here let me do a little trick for you <laughs> I thought that was pretty neat no no lyrics so I can't really look those up and give you a lyrical analysis but uh, really awesome track I, I, I like to see a little bit more subdued side I, I, you know uh, the, the other ones were all just, you know, guitar virtuoso and doing his thing. And for him to kind of lean back a little bit, relax. Here's a nice, refreshing tune. If you're in pain, hopefully this slips up your spirits, which it definitely did. Like, I, like I could literally fall asleep listening to that. So um, it put me to sleep in the best way possible. <laughs> so that being said, the hardest part for me was coming up with the score. I'm generally not a huge ballad fan, but I guess when it comes down to it, it's going to be a no-brainer. Five skulls out of five. It's just just a really fantastic track up, up and down, left to right. I didn't hear any flubs or anything like that. Uh, again, a subdued performance, but, you know, it's got to fit with what you're playing. You can't be jumping up and down and you're just playing these soft, lilting guitars, you know. It's just, it's going to look goofy and it's just, it's not going to work. So, now my own proclivity to, to ballads, I'd probably give it maybe a 4, 4.5. But um, the song deserves five skulls out of five, which I gave it. But I think that's going to be it for this episode of Reviews and Reactions. As always, if you like what you saw, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos. 
Friday Night Frights, Melting Up with Mike Macabra, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. Also, if you'd like to have me react to any bands or anything, please leave them in the comment section or check out the uh, description box to have a little bit more details on what to post and where to post, etc, etc. But as always, ghouls and ghosts, stay scared. Ah! Wow.